Hi everyone! In this video, we will be learning about if statements and making a simple calculator program in Python. If statements are widely used across an abundant amount of programming languages, so it is very important to understand how they work. An if statement in Python is a type of conditional statement that executes a code if the condition is true. The way an if statement works in Python is, there's an if, then a condition, um, colons, and then the code you want to execute if the condition is true. For example, if you have x equals 5, an if statement, and then the, in the condition x equals 5, and then if that condition is true, you have print hello, then the output of this code would be hello, since x equals 5. Another example is if x equals 7, and yet an if statement, and then the condition was x is greater than 9, and then the output for that st if statement would be print um, yes. The output for this would be nothing since x is not greater than 9. So after the if statement, we would have print no. So the output for this code would be no since it, the if statement is checking if x is greater than 9, which it's not, so it will go outside of the if statement and then go to print no. Now that we have a brief understanding about if statements, we can implement that in a simple calculator program that uses a user input to get its values. First, we will type print enter the first number and store that value as first underscore num and that would be equal to float parentheses input parentheses. The float function is used to store any integer or decimal values. Next, we will ask the user to input an operator. To do this, we will type print enter an operator and then in parentheses plus minus multiplication and division. We'll store this as OPR short for operator equals input. We won't have any tag in front of input since this is a string. Now we will get the second value from the user. This will be the same as the first two lines of code but we'll use second number instead. So we will type print enter the second number and then we'll store this as second num and that would be also float input. We have all the user data necessary to make the calculator program work. We will start off by having an if statement. We need four of these if statements in total, one for each operator. We will start off the first if statement by typing if opr equal equal a plus sign in parentheses colon print the answer is colon then a comma after the parentheses first underscore num plus second underscore num we use the equal equal because we are not assigning a value to the opr instead we are checking if the plus sign is true for opr 
Similarly, we do this for subtraction, multiplication, and division, changing up the OPR value and the value in the print statement. This program now works. If we test it by hitting run, then run module, so we enter the first number, we can do 5, and we can do multiply multiplication and 8. The answer is 40. That is correct. This program also works with decimal values. If we type 7.98 and then division and 2.45, we get an answer. We have finished our calculator program that can multiply, add, subtract, and divide any real number with a user input. I will leave the source code in the description just in case if you need it for reference. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.